morning there, Sunday the 9th of January. Um, all the Christmas decorations are down, the bills are coming in for Christmas, the weather's still shit, so I'm gonna scoot off back and uh, get myself a, a little bit of sun and um, brightness and a little bit of heat. So I'm at Gatwick, just ready to check in. Security was surprisingly busy, given that a lot of the skiing vacations in France must have been canceled. Uh, obviously people were just getting away, getting away after Christmas like me. And um, there's the look back through security and then turn round into duty free. It always it amazes me how duty free survives because I never think it's that cheap. Um, if you go to duty free in Dubai, that's pretty cheap, but I never think UK duty free is quite cheap. So this is Airside in the North Terminal. Pretty busy actually for a Sunday morning. I think people are getting away for a bit of sun. They're doing their, uh, some people will be going skiing as well. Now behind me is the weather spoons and there was a time that no matter what time I came through here, I would have dropped off in the weather spoons for a beer. But this year, 2022 is my fifth dry year. And uh, I'm particularly pleased about that. So I'm gonna have a not so humble brag about that. Um, so I've got about an hour to kill. I've got some lunch that I packed at home and uh, not lunch, breakfast, and I'm uh, gonna tuck into that before I get on the plane. And so somewhat ironically, just as I decide to leave, weather's bloody gorgeous here. So I'm looking out kind of uh, southeast over the uh, runway at Gatwick. Behind me, I'm just at the boarding gate, number 106. People are getting on. It looks like actually quite a busy flight. Probably I'm not the only one that's thinking about getting away and getting a little bit of uh, sun and heat. And there's their plane, A320, you know, easy jet. You can't really knock them. They've got a new fleet. And compare and contrast to if you fly with BA. So if you fly with BA, now you've got to use their Verify app and shit knows where your data goes there. Yeah, so the irony, I was escaping the UK to get to get some sun and it was glorious on that Sunday morning. I quite like flying EasyJet, I, I fly them a lot. Um, they're not the cheapest, you know, if you want to fly cheaply, go with Ryanair. Um, I try and avoid now British Airways because of that very fly thing. Stick with this shot, although the camera's focused on the window here, as that condensation clears then you get to see you're looking out and remember what you're looking out here is 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 uh i'm looking out of the starboard window heading west and so out of the window what you're looking at there is the south face of the north downs they need a geography gse to work all that out but basically um as this condensation clears, you'll see you, you, you fly over Dorking and then you see the expanse of the, the Hurtwood Forest. So there it's cleared now. That's looking back towards Red Hill, Rygate. All of that there is the south face of the North Downs. You, um, you see Dorking in a moment, those twin um, towers that are on the outskirts of Dorking. I think that's it just there underneath the nacelle on the on the on the wing and then you see the expanse of the Hurtwood Forest and if, if you've ever seen any of my motorbike videos that's where I fall off my motorbike round there it's just coming into view just on the um, left hand side so all that is the is the Hurtwood and then as this uh, little clip finishes you see Woking in the distance beautiful clear morning and the flight was full the flight was chocking not a spare seat on it so everyone was you know getting out of it yeah and then less than two hours later coming into land in, into Malaga I have spent some time at Airbus in Toulouse, so I do know the backstory on the A320s. Fantastic planes, doing well, mainly because they're apparently really nice planes to fly. And it also helps that the 737s have their 
problems, doesn't it? Loads of Ryanair uh, planes on the uh, on the stand. Okay, so this worked perfectly. Walked out, the bus was waiting, didn't have a ticket, and the guy said, go and get a ticket from around the corner. It doesn't get better than that. Perfect. So the bus from the bus station, airport bus station, drops you off into uh, Marbella bus station, and from there, it was uh, 15 euros Uber to bring me up to Nuevo Andalusia. Um, it's now about half three, something like that. Weather is perfect, you know, it is, well, it's warm enough that you can be sunbathing, you know, so it's 20, 22, something like that. I'm looking out over the med, which is pretty nice. Um, you don't need a lap flow test or a PCR test to get out. Um, you don't need one when, when, you, when you're here and God only knows what you need when you're going back into the UK because that seems to go change every 15 minutes, doesn't it? Um, lack of leadership there i think that's what i would put it down to you follow the signs lack of leadership stick to your guns but anyway different subject um helps me mentally to be out in the sun and um, those dark days you know so i got back what 17th 18th of december and i think there was two or three sunny days since then ironically just as i was leaving i think today looked like it was going to be a nice day but anyway I, I, you know, consider your mental health through those dark winter months um, and I'll do some more videos from here as I do a little bit more exploring. Take care. Bye.